You know, I wish I had my crystal ball here, but what I can see, you know, from a technical standpoint, the near-term indicators like the 21-day moving average, the market upon yesterday's sell-off did hold out above that. We're building a little bit of a right shoulder with an inverse head and shoulders. I think that's constructive on the on the downside. We can hold all these support levels aligning closely with the lows that we've had here over the past two weeks. I, I think that paves a way higher. And I think people are under position, managers and investors, where they'll get some cash to work as the market moves higher and be a driving force. Now, I'm not so negative on, on earnings season. People are looking at multiple compre compression over this year so far, and now they're saying earnings compression is next. I think that if earnings are a little light, I, I think that a lot of this is priced in and the negativity is there, that we could actually see the market gravitate higher on bad news. And you also have things like Apple yesterday, Apple talking about um, slowing hiring and slowing spending on some teams in 2023. This is a theme that's been going on for a couple of months uh, with other other companies as well, Alphabet a week ago. In the longer term, or say you know one to two years out and further, I think this is a positive. These companies are going to run leaner. They're going to get you know trim some of this fat that's out there. These exorbitant packages through um, you know and employees with with uh, goals that don't align with the company. So kind of move away from that. I think these are some positive things that are developing. And then when you hear about this hiring slowdown, what's the Fed's goal? The Fed wants to take the froth out of the job market. So again, I'm looking at this through a more positive lens right now. As long as we can hold above support. I like the op optimism, Bill. So who's the leader? I asked this question yesterday of an analyst. You know, so for so long, the big growth stocks, the big tech stocks have been leading the way for years. Where does the leadership come from in this environment looking forward? At these levels in the market, I'm looking for leadership from tech. I mean, you hear people say buzzwords ah. on, on media, that, you know, whatever, station to station, uh, they're, that they're overweight utilities and overweight staples. This is not the time to be overweight staples and utilities. I think you're going to see the, the tech lead higher and out of this. There will become a time where you want to get more defensive, and I think that's quite a bit higher from here in the market. So I think tech's going to lead higher. Obviously, as we move into big earnings reports, you know, Tesla tomorrow and then some of the big names next week. If these big names, which have gotten some negativity out of the way, can can show decent results and the market reject the negativity and trade higher, I think we have some great leadership around the corner from from tech and, and some of the beaten down high what were high multiple growth names. What about the commodities? If I'm reading your notes correctly, Bill, you kind of think there's a rebound in the making. Absolutely. You know, you get the U.S. dollar right, you're going to get a lot of things right. And I do think that the yeah. dollar's starting to come in. Yeah. And I expect the dollar to top at the early stages of a hiking cycle. Now, this hiking cycle has been a bit different as inflation has been persistently moving higher. So the goalposts, you know, the, the Fed has continued to move them. Now, I think that we have, a, you know, from last week, the 9.1% headline CPI number may be a little bit of a near-term peak. It allows the Fed's goalposts to stand still. And the U.S. dollar could start to come in. If the U.S. dollar comes in, you're going to see commodities, especially the precious metals, rebound. Not to mention it's going to be, you know, a, a big uh, a big lifter for stocks. But now for precious metals, you're actually Very seeing good. a lot of negativity there. And managed money, the hedge funds, have gone net short gold. This has been a counter indicator that uh, time when you want to be a buyer of gold.